Hi, I'm Scott with APA Solar Racking. Today we're going to show you how to install our Ready Rack ground mount system. Ready Rack is available in 20 through 35 degree tilt angles, and it also is available with the ground screw and the helical foundation. We also have geo ballast foundation available in 25 degree tilt. Please visit our website for more information on our distribution products at readyracksolar.com. You want to take and lay out the site to determine where each one of your posts will go. You'll find the north-south span of each post on your engineering documents, and you'll find the east-west span located on the project details of your quote. The first step in the installation is to find your helical pile with the plastic spacer sleeve. Install that in the lower foundation post and bolt them together with the 3 8 bolt that's found in your truss hardware kit. The next step is to take the helical pile that we just assembled, attach it to the skid steer auger attachment in preparation to screw it in the ground. Next, you'll install the helical posts at each location that you've just laid out. Pro tip, you'll want to have the RPMs of your skid steer as low as possible when installing the posts to avoid breakage if you hit a rock. Bolt the upper posts to the lower posts that you just installed. These would be the 1.9 diameter posts that you find in your truss kit. The long posts would go to the north, the short posts would go to the south. The next step is to attach the C-channel north-south cord to the upper posts you just installed. Once installed, you want to sight down the row and adjust as necessary to flatten your array. The next step is the east-west strut that attach to the top of the north-south cord. These attach with a one inch long 3 8 diameter bolt with a strut nut that fits inside the bottom of the C-channel. These are attached together using the splices that you'll find in the splice kit. You want your east-west rail to hang a few inches beyond that cantilever distance to allow the end clamp to be able to attach to the east-west rail. To find the amount of overhang that your east-west rails will have at each end of your array, you'll find that under cantilever on the project details section of your quote. The next step would be to attach the modules to the east-west rail. You begin attaching your modules at the distance located on the cantilever section on the project details of your quote. The next step is to attach the angle brace, which attaches at the lower side of the north post to the upper side of the south post. These are fastened using a self-tapping bolt. Finally, you'll want to install the cable bracing that goes east to west across your array. You'll find the instructions for installing these cable braces on your engineering packet. These cable braces use the same clamp that was used with the angle brace installed earlier. 